Hey guys, this is Scott and Ariane with this nomadic idea. So the question is, does size matter? Is big better? I'm gonna share with you what I learned at the RV Tampa Super Show and the one question that nobody was asking. So the RV Tampa Super Show had just about every kind of RV you could ever want or ever dream of. They had small ones, they had big ones, they had long ones, they had short ones, they had expensive ones, they had not so expensive ones, they had luxurious, luxurious motorhome coaches that you would probably ask someone like Cheeves to dry and ask for a Grey Poupon. Hey, welcome to the lifestyles of the rich and famous. In this episode, we tour the luxury homes of celebrity stars of coach motorhomes that ran $300,000, $500,000. They had little tiny ones where you'd probably go off in the wilderness and live there your whole life. They had everything that you could ever think of and they all had one thing in common someone wanted you to buy one the thing is if you wanted to spend two million dollars for a motorhome they had it for you if you wanted to spend ten thousand dollars for a little box truck and a little you know some some really cool looking tires off-grid tires they had that for you also they had little guy max they had luxurious super sport camper trailers. They had everything that you could ever imagine. It was a big show. They probably had just as many RVs camping and dry docking at the show than they had RVs to sell in the show. Let me tell you, there is a lot of RVs at this place. It was a great show, great time, big time business that's going on. But the one thing I did notice over and over and over again was that the big rigs, the big gigantic rigs that everybody was driving to the RV show, they were all asking questions like, what's boondocking? And how would I boondock? And all the smaller RVs, the little tiny ones, were saying, wow, maybe I want something a little bit bigger. So here's the takeaway that I actually got from the RV show was this. You gotta figure out your lifestyle. What is your ultimate goal of even buying an RV in the first place? What is your goal? Why'd you buy it? Why do you wanna buy one? Why do you wanna live full time in it? Why do you want the idea of actually even going out and either hauling it either driving it, either pulling it, whatever the case is, why do you want an RV? So RVers that live full time in their RV and travel across the country, um, you know, it, it sounds romantic and it, it probably is romantic sometimes, but it is a lifestyle choice that they made. And with any lifestyle choice you make, no matter what it is, there's always going to have to be compromises that you make to fit that lifestyle. No matter what compromises there are, you're, you're going to have to make them. And when you're looking at a RV, you're going to have to decide what are you willing to compromise on and what are you willing not to compromise on? What can you kind of fit into your lifestyle without radically changing it? And what can you try to accomplish or what's your goal once you choose that lifestyle? You have to have a end game. You have to have a goal of what, what do you want to accomplish when you, you purchase and you invest in that type of lifestyle. Now, you may say, well, I'm just going to go out on the weekends. That's great. Well, then you shouldn't be spending $300,000 on an RV. Well, I'm gonna go full time. Well then, you know, what's the end game? What is the ultimate goal of what you want? Do you want freedom? Do you wanna save money? Because I can tell you 
that's not necessarily the case. Is it something you want to just visit all the national parks and live very nomadically? Is, is, what's the sense of it and what are you going to get out of it before you invest all that money? I'm not so sure that spending two million dollars is going to accomplish anything other than a huge depreciation value as soon as I write them a check. So you really kind of have to understand what is the end game? What's your goal? Not really the end game of when you stop RVing someday, but what's the what is the ultimate goal of what you want in the first place for going out there and being a little nomadic? So let's face it, living any kind of a lifestyle that you choose is going to take work. It's not going to just be easy. It's certainly not just going to be handed to you on a silver platter. So one of the things that Ariane and I knew right away off the bat is that we are we are minimalist. We, we don't really need much anymore. Um, we really do love living a minimal lifestyle. Um, I hiked the Appalachian Trail in 2003. I lived off of I lived in a 50 liter backpack for six months and I didn't really need that much of my life. And after I got done hiking the Appalachian Trail, I just started, I just didn't need that much anymore. And Ariane is the same way. So I think knowing that going in, you know, we don't, we are never going to have to buy something that is so outrageously expensive that it literally washes our hands for us after we're done eating. Um, and that's probably why we renovated the Airstream so we could kind of tailor it to our needs instead of a manufacturer tailing their needs to us. You know, the thing is, is that my comfort level is going to be different than your comfort level. My red line in the sand is going to be different than your red line in the sand. My compromises are going to be different than your compromises. And so I think that's one of the things I saw at the RV show was that there was just so many to choose from. And ultimately, someone will always ask you, well, what's the best? Well, there's no best out there. Here, so when Ariane and I teach backpacking boot camp and we take new people out backpacking, the question always comes up, what's the best tent? Our response is the one that keeps you dry when it rains. What's the best boots? The one that don't give you blisters. And choosing an RV is the exact same way. There were so many RVs at that Tampa RV show. If you were gonna go in there and you're gonna look to buy your first, first RV, it's almost like going into the grocery store after your wife tells you, go choose some toilet paper. I, I don't even know where to start. And that's kind of how I felt at the RV Super Show. If I was gonna go in and buy a RV, thinking I was gonna go live full time or I was gonna live a nomadic life or I was just gonna go out on the weekends or maybe even the summer for summer vacation. You gotta know your lifestyle. And I think that's the most important thing to set some parameters for yourself, to understand that life changes, it's not always gonna be the same. And if you choose it now, it better be flexible for you so it can either grow into something you say you're never gonna do. And let me tell you something, I've had so many people tell me that they were never gonna go backpacking by themselves. They're never gonna go out there alone by themselves and they always do. So when you say, I'm never gonna go boondocking or I'm never gonna go out there, make sure you buy the right RV because I got news for you. You're gonna wanna go out there because everyone else is going out there. So anyway, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you always get our next video notification. Remember, we go Thursday, Thursday live every Thursday, every Thursday at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So we'll see you guys later. Bye.